God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. This is a sequel to the third point I gave you. The third point I gave you, let's recall it. The first one I said, you must forget about the past if you want to walk in your new beginning. The second one, don't give excuses, no murmuring. If you want to walk in your new beginning, then the third one I told you, you must act in faith. You must act in faith. A lot of people are telling me and calling me, sending me text messages. They say, Papa, how can we walk in faith? How can we act in faith? Now, number one, number one, you must change what you are listening to. You must change what is getting into your spirit. We are products of what we allow into our spirit. Change what you are listening to. Change what you are hearing. Change what you are seeing. That which is telling you you cannot make it. That which is telling you that this new cycle will be as the old one. You must stop listening to it. You must change that. Number two, you must also start confessing. You must start confessing positively. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. In Joel chapter 3 verse 10, begin to say positive things to yourself. Tell yourself it's going to work. I'm going to make it work. My marriage is going to stand. My relationship is going to stand. I am going to give better. Watch your spouse in the face and tell your spouse that I'm going to give birth to you, a son for you. I'm going to give birth to a daughter for you. Look to yourself and tell yourself that promotion is coming. That business is coming. That contract is coming. Beloved, begin to confess positively. Begin to let your profession be positive ones to the glory of the Lord. Somebody start talking good about yourself. Start speaking good about yourself because something new is about to happen to you. This is the new beginning and it is going to work out for you in Jesus' name. Amen.